told you that some bacteria can literally harvest sunlight to produce nutrients, just like plants. It sounds like science fiction, but it's a natural phenomenon that's been happening for billions of years. These microscopic marvels are called photosynthetic bacteria, and they play a vital role in sustaining life on Earth. Photosynthetic bacteria are like tiny, self-sufficient factories. They capture energy from sunlight and use it to convert carbon dioxide and other simple compounds into essential nutrients. This process, known as photosynthesis, is the foundation of most ecosystems on our planet. There are three main types of photosynthetic bacteria, each with its own unique set of skills and contributions to the environment, cyanobacteria, purple and green sulfur bacteria, and purple and green non-sulfur bacteria. These microscopic powerhouses are nature's original recyclers and fertility boosters, and they hold immense potential for revolutionizing our approach to agriculture and soil health. In the following sections, we will delve deeper into the fascinating world of these sunlight harvesters and explore how they can help us cultivate healthier soils and more sustainable farming practices. Let's meet the three main types of photosynthetic bacteria, cyanobacteria, purple and green sulfur bacteria, and purple and green non-sulfur bacteria. Cyanobacteria were among the first to photosynthesize, releasing oxygen and fixing nitrogen. Purple and green sulfur. Bacteria thrive in sulfur-rich environments, aiding the sulfur cycle. Purple and green non-sulfur bacteria recycle carbon in low sulfur areas. Together, they enrich soil and support ecosystems. Among the photosynthetic bacteria, cyanobacteria deserve special attention for their remarkable ability to fix nitrogen. Nitrogen is an essential nutrient for plant growth, but plants cannot directly absorb the abundant nitrogen gas present in the atmosphere. This is where cyanobacteria come in. They possess specialized cells called heterocysts, which act like tiny nitrogen-fixing factories. Within these heterocysts, cyanobacteria convert atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia, a form that plants can readily utilize. This process, known as biological nitrogen fixation, is a natural and sustainable alternative to synthetic nitrogen fertilizers, which can have detrimental impacts on the environment. By incorporating cyanobacteria into agricultural practices, farmers can reduce their reliance on synthetic fertilizers, improve soil fertility, and minimize the negative environmental consequences associated with conventional farming methods. Sulfur Cyclers and Carbon Recyclers while cyanobacteria excel at nitrogen fixation, the other two types of photosynthetic bacteria play equally important roles in maintaining a balanced and healthy ecosystem, purple and green sulfur. Bacteria, as their name suggests, are experts at handling sulfur. They thrive in environments where sulfur compounds are abundant, such as anaerobic soils, sediments, and water bodies. These bacteria convert hydrogen sulfide, a toxic gas often produced during the decomposition of organic matter, into sulfate. Sulfate is a form of sulfur that plants can absorb and utilize for growth. Purple and green non-sulfur bacteria, on the other hand, are versatile carbon recyclers. They break down complex organic compounds, such as organic acids, releasing nutrients back into the environment. This process is essential for maintaining soil fertility and supporting the growth of plants and other organisms. A boon for soil and crops. The combined efforts of these photosynthetic bacteria have a profound impact on soil health and agricultural productivity. Firstly, their nitrogen-fixing capabilities reduce the need for synthetic nitrogen fertilizers. This not only saves farmers money but also minimizes the environmental damage caused by excessive fertilizer use, such as water pollution and greenhouse gas emissions. Secondly, photosynthetic bacteria improve soil structure. They produce sticky substances called exopolysaccharides, which bind soil particles together, creating a more stable and porous soil structure. This enhanced soil structure improves water infiltration, aeration, and root penetration, creating a more favorable environment for plant growth. Thirdly, photosynthetic bacteria enhance microbial diversity in the soil. A diverse and thriving microbial community is essential for healthy soil function. Photosynthetic bacteria contribute to this diversity supporting a complex web of interactions that benefit plant growth and overall soil health. Finally, these bacteria can increase drought resilience in crops. Their ability to improve soil structure and water retention helps plants withstand periods of water scarcity, making them a valuable asset in arid and semi-arid regions. 
Real-World Results Rice Revolution in Thailand The benefits of photosynthetic bacteria are not just theoretical. Numerous studies and real-world examples demonstrate their positive impact on agricultural yields and environmental sustainability. One compelling case study comes from Thailand, where researchers investigated the effects of using photosynthetic bacteria as biofertilizers in rice cultivation. Rice is a staple crop in Thailand, and farmers typically rely heavily on synthetic nitrogen fertilizers to achieve high yields. The study involved treating rice paddies with a mixture of photosynthetic bacteria, including cyanobacteria, purple bacteria, and green sulfur bacteria. The results were remarkable. The rice plants treated with the bacterial inoculant showed significant improvements in growth, yield, and nutrient uptake compared to the control group that received only chemical fertilizers. The study demonstrated that photosynthetic bacteria could effectively replace a significant portion of synthetic nitrogen fertilizers in rice cultivation, leading to reduced input costs for farmers, increased yields, and a lower environmental footprint. Encouraging Nature's Little Helpers Farmers can encourage beneficial bacteria by reducing synthetic fertilizers, covering soil with mulch or cover crops, and adding compost. Excessive nitrogen inhibits photosynthetic bacteria. Minimizing synthetic inputs helps microbes thrive. Cover crops and mulch protect soil and provide food for microbes. Compost boosts microbial populations and provides nutrients. Minimizing tillage protects soil structure and microbial life. Microbial inoculants introduce beneficial bacteria to the root zone. These practices create healthier soils and a more sustainable agricultural system.